here at the uh, Port Credit Boat Show, and we're about to enter the uh, the uh, on water boat uh, display. We'll try and check out some boats. Maybe we can find some used boats that uh, fit into our budget and into our uh, style or or, or, uh, or our needs. Amen to that. <laughs> Sold sign, the Beneteau 37 for $201,000. Sold. Wouldn't it be great to buy a brand new boat? For sure. So we've been looking at the 30 Catalina for quite a long time, for a few years now. This one is on sale for $36,900. There used to be quite a lot, and it's gone down. So we're on our due for 44. Um, about seven years ago, we sail, sailed in the Caribbean on a due for 43. So we're going to look at this due for and see how it compares to the due for 43. Yes. Yeah, then I think that the dinette was on the uh, starboard well, side. I think we had the uh, the whole uh, yeah. um, galley. Oh along yes, there, it, wasn't it? yeah. The galley was along the the port side. It, it wasn't this uh, L-shaped galley. So the other boat that we sailed on, the the Du 43, had more of a box style. Yeah. It didn't have such a spacious uh, beaver. That's this. This is the 2010 Hansi 37.5, which is a performance racing boat. It's an open transom. Look at the footwell. So when the boat is healing, the helmsman or helmswoman, which is uh, brace against that little uh, foot stump there. <laughs> this is a Hunter 50. Look at the size, the length of this boat. The draft must be quite deep on this one. I don't think you can get into any bays or coves on Lake Ontario or Thousand Islands or even up to Georgian Bay. So we're on board the Aloha 32 one of the good old boats of yesteryear. It's actually nicely set up. So you have on the starboard side the berth, which makes sense when you're running, when you're go when you're passage making, you want to be able to have the berth close by to to the wheel, to the cockpit. L shaped galley.